Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever you watch this. I am Nathan Miller, one of the librarians at Lee Summit North, and I'm Mr. Russell, the other librarian at Lee Summit North, and we are very excited to have you uh, become Broncos uh, at Lee Summit North next school year, whatever that might look like. Uh, we look forward to seeing you whenever that happens. Yes. So we wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk about uh, summer reading uh, and opportunities you have to access books uh, during this time, uh, no matter where you're at. So our first slide has links to all of our social media. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Also, we have a link which we'll put in the comments down below uh, of a summer reading site, which has book talks. It'll have summer reading information from Mid-Continent, from our school, from the other schools in the district. So that is a great opportunity there. We'll even show you the site here in a little bit. Um, accessing books. So first of all, we would love you to access the books here at the Lee Summit School District, whether you access it through Campbell's website or through the Lee Summit North website. We'll also put a link to our website below. Don't forget to access Sora, Overdrive, or Flipster, which is e-magazines. All of that information can be found on the library websites. Uh, they're a great opportunity to check out books. And also, you can link Mid-Continent Public Library to that Sora account so you can check out even more books. Here's a quick slide. I won't talk about much about this, but you can access all of Mid-Continent's um, information and resources through your or using your student number through their website. You can also, if you wanted to, get a Kansas City Public Library card by going to their website. They have a lot more resources as well. Mr. Russell, did you want to jump in on any of those two? No, great stuff. Uh, they have lots of lot. They have a bigger budget than we do, so they are able to offer a lot more. Um, you know, the advantage of our Overdrive and Sora is if you're putting a book on hold, your wait will probably short be shorter with ours, but you get a lot more choices through Midcontinent and Kansas City Public. And Mr. Miller and I both have all three of those libraries linked to our Sora and Overdrive accounts, so you get a lot of choices and you can check out a lot of books. Summer reading also on Overdrive and Sora. They offer 11 books for middle school and high school students that are free all summer. You can check them out as long as you want and as many people can check them out uh, at the same time or everyone can check them out at the same time. That is featured on the Sora front page. You'll see them, they're called Overdrive Sweet Reads. So right there also, Audio File Sync, uh, which is a company that each summer offers two free audio books a week. Um, we'll, again, link that below. It'll also be on our social media. It will be on the summer reading page. It'll be on our website soon. So two free audiobooks a week in this summer. That also works through Sora Overdrive. We need to make like a how-to video for that, Mr. Russell. So look for that on our social media and on our website soon. So those are two great opportunities to access free books and audiobooks over the summer. So Russell, I put new young adult fiction up front. Lots of great new young adult fiction. I would love to talk about all 10 of these books, but what I will do is refer you to our YouTube channel where we have book talks for nine of these 10 books. I should record one for The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis, uh, which is a great historical novel. I will talk about the one that you will probably like the best, which I'm going to say is the one in the top left. Pretend she's here. Uh, that is about a young woman whose best friend just died about a year ago. Very sad. Um, her friend's family comes back to the area and basically the parents kidnap the best friend who's still alive uh, and say, hey, you're now going to be the replacement for our dead daughter. It's creepy. It's the kind of book that you yell at. Um, I, I think you will love it. It's suspenseful and creepy and, and weird. So that is Pretend She's Here by Luann Rice. The other ones are fantastic. There are book talks uh, on our YouTube channel for all those other brand new fiction books as well. Okay, so Gateway nominees are like the Truman nominees except for high school students. So these are the 15 Gateway nominees for next year. A few things about the Gateway nominees. If you read three, and take a quiz on Schoology, which Mr. Russell will talk about on the next slide. Then in the spring, we vote for those. We have a pizza party, all that jazz. Also, if you read all 15, you can get a gateway patch for your letter jacket. And then you're, there's also a way to read 25 of possible gateways, so on and so forth. 
we have a lot of opportunities for you. These are also, uh, it's a great year. The Poet X is fantastic. Monday's not coming. A lot of good books on here. I would mention, I just finished A Heart and a Body in the World um, by Deb Coletti. It was fantastic. Annabelle's a main character. She's 17. She's just gotten fast food. She's about to get in her car, but instead of getting in her car, she just starts running. She runs 11 miles that night, calls home, says, mom, I'm not coming back. We live in Seattle. I'm going to run all the way to Washington, D.C. And the book is about that experience, what happened to her that made her need to run uh, and everything that happens along the way. It was a great book. Uh, definitely check it out on Sora at Lee Summit or Midcontinent. Next slide, Mr. Russell. Anything else you want to mention about Gateway or Book Club? Gateway, I will just mention um, there, like you said, they are all fantastic books this year, uh, a great year for those there on our YouTube channel is a playlist 60 second book talks where we go through each of those books. Really uh, book club books for next year. Notice on the right, there is a Schoology join code. We would love to have you join our book club right now. Uh, hook that in in your Schoology and then you can become a member of book club. Once you've finished a book, in Schoology, there is a really easy 10 question multiple choice quiz. And if you've read the book, you'll do well in the quiz. That just shows us that you've read the book and that's how you qualify for the Gateway Pizza Party for the patch for the Gateway um, Reader's Award if you read all 15. You also have the opportunity to earn a varsity letter, just like you would for football or debate. Uh, you earn a varsity letter through reading by reading a, a number of the book club books in addition to the gateways. So in addition to three gateways, uh, we have these 10 book club books on the docket for next year. Uh, again, we've got book talks on our YouTube channel for most of these. These are fantastic books. Oh, I guess I should say during the school year, under normal circumstances, we meet uh, once a month, first Wednesday of the month in the library for book club. Uh, most years, it really is chips and guacamole and Pop-Tarts Club, and we also talk about books. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong direction. So Book Club, uh, Mr. Russell, we'll, we'll send out some more links. He has some cool sounds that you can put on uh, while you read books over the summer. Maybe it makes you feel like you've gotten away. Uh, next year, we're going to have Broncos read where the staff chooses a book that they've read over the summer. They post it on their door, and then we have a contest to see which staff member can get the most students to read the same book that they did, they sign up. Basically, we just wanna encourage people to read, but also to talk about books. So be looking out for these on teachers' doors next year. And I think that is it, other than, again, Mr. Russell, Mr. Miller, Lee Summit North Library, follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. Please email us if you have any questions. What are we thinking? What are we forgetting, Mr. Russell, anything? Welcome to Lee Summit North. Uh, we are going to now, right now, say congratulations. You are Broncos. Glad to have you.